Tokyo's Grand Prince Hotel Akasaka is a shadow of its former self, and it's shrinking by the day. Floor by floor, the building is being demolished from the inside, a clean and efficient technique being used for the first time. It was developed by the Tassei Corporation's Hideki Ichihara. The cap, which sits on top of the building, will be jacked down in stages so the building you see behind me has been reduced from an original height of 140 metres and is now around 80 metres. And in six months it will have disappeared from the skyline completely. From the outside the demolition is barely noticeable, but inside it's a hive of activity. Heavy machinery on the top floor destroys beams, columns and most of the floor itself before temporary jacks underneath bring the debris down one level. An interior crane then lowers the debris to the ground, a process that generates electricity for other equipment at the same time. In a densely built city like Tokyo, it's a practical alternative to methods used elsewhere in the world. You can only use explosives to collapse a building under the condition that there are no other buildings around. But if you collapse this building using explosives, that building and the one over there will be affected. So in conclusion, we obviously can't use explosives in Japan. But it's a method Ichihara says has application in other countries. Not only is it much cleaner than conventional demolition, it's also much quieter, something Ichihara says is worth shouting about.